What's going on YouTube? Earth Power here bringing you guys another deck tech. So today we have Water Fire Nature uh, Tempo. Uh, I've, I've called it an aggro deck in the past um, just because it kind of functions that way. Uh, almost very rarely is this deck trying to trade um, and honestly the only creature that trades well uh, with most cards like in, in other matchups is Ganta. So like since it trades so well it typically just wants to go phase two uh so that's why i kind of call it like an aggro -y slash tempo deck um but then it, it's not so much tempo because it doesn't really run like it only runs surfer it doesn't run kareel or uh, any other real disruption cards outside of windax uh just for the blocker hate so uh this is the list it's basically i think it's like six to eight cards off of the bomb bazaar list uh, and we'll get into that uh, here. So we're only down to two poisonous mushrooms. Um, instead, like you're not trying to just get to Bombazar, like you, because uh, the deck's not running Bombazar. So you're not trying to get to seven as aggressively as uh, the Bombazar list was. So running two's fine. Um, it just kind of helps unclog the hand if you've got multiple multi sieves that you're not going to have time to put down later. It runs a ton of draw. Uh, four stream, four hulkus, uh, and even the zebra fish as a pseudo uh, draw mechanic uh, that kind of works in conjunction with poisonous mushroom because you can poisonous mushroom down something, put yourself to four, and then zebra fish uh, which kind of resets you back to what your regular uh, mana situation would be while getting a card back to your hand. Uh, depending on if you had to put something down that you didn't quite want to put down uh, in the beginning in terms of uh, multi-sieve like Windax or Ganta. Uh, it is, uh, just to go down the list here, two Poisonous Mushroom, four Bronze Arm Tribe. I know a lot of these cards are Japanese just because I wanted to kind of tech it out. I thought it was cool that, you know, Reddish and uh, a gentleman in the past sent me a ton of Japanese stuff, so I just kind of wanted to trick this out with as many Japanese things as I could. Uh, two Rumbling Terrorhorn uh, basically helps you find Zebrafish and Twin Cannon, maybe Windax, depending on the situation. Uh, just kind of toolboxes the deck a little bit and provides, again, another, uh, you know, draw tool. Four Soul Swap uh, helps, again, with uh, the Zebrafish combo and just getting out Twin Cannons in the end to just kind of push for late game victory. It provides a pseudo uh, removal shield blast uh, early if you need it. Uh, the problem with the uh, Soul Swap is that it's kind of just a minus one, like all, like every time you play it. Uh, so unless you're using it aggressively to push for game, it's kind of a bad card. It tends to end up in mana more or less um, until the later parts of the game when uh, you can start pushing with Twin Cannon. Uh, the water section is pretty standard: four Surfer, four Hulkus, four Stream. Uh, a lot of draw. Surfer is just the best trigger in the game. Uh, period for decks like this and yeah that's it and then we got the combo piece zebrafish and supersonic jetpack so the idea with this when i first built it I, I, like years and years and years ago was that if i can get the opponent down to zero shields and then they start to stabilize a top deck zebrafish if supersonic jetpack is in your mana zone is auto win um you know, you, you get back the Zebrafish, Super Sonic Jetpack is a speed attacker, and you swing for game. Uh, end of story. So that was the idea behind these two. And then Zebrafish um, is better than Thrash Crawler in this deck just because it provides a body that can also still swing. Um, you're running Bronze Arm Tribe, or four Bronze Arm Tribe and four Windax, so things can go down in mana that you don't necessarily want to go down uh, pretty often. So Zebrafish kind of helps get back twin cannons and surfers and windax and terra horns that um, might have gone down prematurely with uh, the effects of the BAT and the windax. Uh, for twin cannon, very very standard for aggressive uh, tempo strategies like this, anything that's running red. Basically the whole reason we're running red on top of the multi sieves. Uh, Pyrofighter provides our flex spot. I've had him as Scarlet Sky Tear in the past. I've had him as a second supersonic jetpack. I've had him as Rickaboo the Dismantler. Um, yeah, just uh, basically he's the one slot in the deck that you can just sort of tech out to fix whatever, I guess, issues you're running into more or less. 
Um, I like Scarlet Sky Terror in here a lot uh, before Windax was a thing. Uh, just because, you know, full field annihilation or, or full field blocker annihilation was just kind of the, you know, the crux. Uh, a lot of people were, when Bombazar was a thing at least, you know, back in 2006 for that short period before Duel Masters actually uh, went down the shitter. Uh, people were running massive amounts of blockers as a way to kind of pseudo get past Bombazar. You know, you could drop three or four blockers out there, and then Bombazar just had a really, really tough time kind of breaking through it all until you could kind of position yourself to win with it. And Scarlet Sky Terror provided that uh, end all be all answer if you could get it out, which wasn't that hard because of all the mana acceleration plus the soul swap. You know, you could feel safe throwing Sky Terror down and then just swap it out later when uh when you have the time. Uh, but since uh, things are kind of getting a little bit more optimized, like the only real like major blocker decks are Marino and uh, Foul Control, and even then, uh, you know the control decks are very slow. They're not super focused on the blocker aspect of them. So I put in Pyrofighter just as a uh, another potential finisher, just something a little bit more aggressive to help you push for those uh, final shields. Because like I said, you get them down to zero shields, and if Jetpack's in your mana zone, Zebrafish wins the game. So, And then the multi sieve counts. Four Ganta, four Windex. Super, super standard. They're like the best two in green-red out of the handful that we do have access to. Tag Tap's not really worth it, because uh, it's not really doing much. And uh, I can't even think of what the other multi sieves are. Uh, there's Bombazar, and then I think that's it. Uh... Yeah. So, let us know what you think. Leave a comment. Leave a like. This is uh, my favorite deck in the Duel Masters uh, metagame for sets 1 through 12 as far as the English TCG is concerned. I just, I love playing it. I love being behind it. It's just one of my, uh, you know, favorite strategies to kind of pilot and, and play with. So, yeah, let us know what you think, and hopefully, guys, we'll see you next time. Peach.